movieweb.com. Great, so I wanted to begin by um, asking about the film and uh, if you could tell me a little bit about the genesis of the idea and how it started to come together. Yeah, it came out of frustration actually. Um, uh, I was, um, I was like probably most people, pretty fed up with hearing stories about um, grown men uh, flying airplanes into the building going, God is great, um, where you have suicide bombers blowing innocent people up to buy themselves a place into heaven. Um, all this sort of stuff. I call it the my God is greater than your God syndrome. And uh, it just didn't make any sense to me. So I thought that uh, I might go around the world and ask people what this entity that goes by the name of God means to them so that perhaps we could learn something and from that understand um, who we are as individuals and how we fit on this planet. That was it really. What was the reaction that you felt you got from people? Um, you know, did you have any sort of Hard reactions, hesitant reactions, or what were you surprised by the different reactions you, know, was, you got from people? Uh, that's a good question. I was really surprised by how um, amazingly gracious everybody was towards me, even those who really do have a few nefarious agendas. Um, uh, some, of the, even the militants um, up in Kashmir. Uh, it, it was it was remarkable to have so so much cooperation on a base level uh, making this film. It, it, I can't I can't even fathom how unbelievable that was. Uh, and uh, some of the celebrities you do have in the film, I was just wondering if I could ask you a little bit um, sure. about each one. Hugh Jackman to begin with. I was very, uh, very blessed to have Hugh in this film and uh, a friend of mine got him uh, to agree to do it and I, I flew out to the set of Australia, Baz Luhrmann's film, in, the, in Northern Territories in Australia to film him. He was so gracious. He um, gave... In, Were you surprised gave, at how thoughtful he was on the subject? Well, I, I knew quite a lot about him. I mean, um, I knew just by his talent that he was a very smart individual. Um, what I learned from him is just the amazing sense of spirituality that Hugh has, and it comes out in the interview. Um, and he's very articulate. He's a very, very intelligent man, and um, has a lot of has, has devoted a lot of thought to the whole entity of God and his relationship with uh, spirituality. And he's, he meditates, he uh, thinks about it, he was brought up in, in certain doctrines um, and he's sort of taken all of those pieces and put together in his head what works for him in a very gracious way and he's very articulate in the film and he says some very unbelievably wise statements. Yes. So it's worth watching the movie just to, you know, even just to hear what a, a major celebrity who you know, you think is Wolverine, um, has to say about something which is very, very, very intense. Um, uh, and I was very blessed to have him on, 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 uh, on the film. And, and Ringo Starr, who you list as Beatle, which is really, which sums it all up. Um, he has some wonderful things to say about, not necessarily God, but just love and, and, and that's, that That's message. Ringo. Uh, yeah. Ringo um, gave me this the day I interviewed him. I still have it on. Uh, it says, peace and love. Um, and that's what Ringo is about, that's how he's chosen to lead his life. Um, he is, has very, very strong opinions about that. Um, if only you give out love, then um, that's what is the most important. And, and, and the whole idea of, of being loving towards each other is, is exactly what this entity that goes by the name of God means to him. Um, and you know, and also his history and his journeys into India and to his meditation, he's seen it gurus. All. He's he's really experienced a lot, and he's yeah. a very smart, intelligent, articulate man. And then you got uh, a very opposite viewpoint from Sir Bob Geldof. So what was that like uh, being in his realm? Well, is it opposite? I don't know whether it is opposite. I mean, uh, Sir Bob Geldof is an atheist and uh, dismisses the whole idea of. God, but then that brings up the question that, you know, is God just a word, which it is really for Sir Bob Geldof. He doesn't believe in God whatsoever, um, and uh, it doesn't mean to say that he doesn't have the same ideologies that Ringo Starr does as far as love is concerned, it just doesn't come under the banner of God. So maybe they're not as different as you think. The thing is, but with, with uh, Bob is that he, he's, he's fantastic in this film. He yeah, is yes. very colourful to watch. He's um, uh, articulate, like no, probably one of the most intelligently articulate people I've met. 
uh, puts it across eloquently on camera, is opinionated, not afraid of any um, comeback on his opinions, unbelievable. And again, for anybody that doesn't believe in God, he kind of sums it up and he's brilliant in the film. And he's a good counterpoint, he crops up in the film quite a lot. Yeah. And also I use him because he's so um, articulate on Africa, that over the African sequence he really explains the whole idea of uh, you know, you, you can't just go in and bomb people to be different than what they are. You know, people have their own ideologies, ideas, uh, the cultures, etc. that have um, grown over generations. You can't just come in and take that away from them. So he's, he's smart and very, very uh, entertaining to look at. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so last question I just want to ask you, Peter. Um, if you could talk a little bit about your choice to actually put yourself in the film as a subject. I mean, you are a major subject in the film and, and we sort of follow your journey. Uh, and then what did you learn from your journey? Uh, what do you take away from what you learned in the film? Um, I didn't have the intention of putting me in the film in the beginning. I shot it just in case. And I realized that if I made a movie without somebody taking the audience by the hand and leading them through the streets of the world, um, then the movie wouldn't have a core, it wouldn't have a narrative, it wouldn't have anything for people to hold on to. And it would be like a nice Sunday afternoon um, BBC documentary. Not, I, I love those documentaries, by the way, I'm not talking for BBC in the slightest. But it wouldn't be something that, um, you know, would be a, a theatrical experience um, to go and see. So I, I shot myself as a character just to sort of take people on the journey and that and I use it as the narrative as the bounce uh, as somebody objective to ask the questions to go on the journey with me many people that haven't got the privilege to go around the world like I did and so I sort of take them by the hand to do that and then what did I learn out of it I learned that there's an awful lot of humanity in the world much more than we hear on the news good news is no news um, there are an awful lot of um, people who use God for nefarious means, and that is terrible. Uh, if you are religious, you should understand your book um, and read it for yourself and understand it from the core and what your prophets say. Um, if you're not religious, um, you know, you don't have to be. Um, there is a wonderful energy and humanity that binds people together on this planet. Um, and on the base ground level, face to face, people are mainly really, really cool. And a lot of people are driven by fear, and a lot of people live in, in, in a living hell. And a lot of people also live in paradise today. I'm just asking a question. It's up to you to come to a conclusion.